Hello, this is Ishan, and you're watching Loudwire. So, uh, the first riff or song that made me want to play guitar, it's a very long time ago, uh, but um, some of it probably was uh, connected to Twisted Sister, and I vividly remember uh, the song I Wanna Rock. It made a huge impact, and I think uh, set a bit of a goal for myself in life as well. So it went, it was a very simple riff, and it went like this. <laughs> Not much to it, but uh, the title, I Wanna Rock, and the chorus screaming in the same way, um, was enough, I guess. Uh, I can't exactly remember what my first riff was, but um, I know for a fact that I learned a lot from playing along to Iron Maiden records, uh, Seven Son of a Seven Son in particular, and um, I played a lot of uh, the opening track, Moonchild. And um, that kind of learned me a bit of, you know, bits and pieces of songwriting as well, like reusing themes and, um, you know, giving it all, have, have some co cohesion, I guess. So it starts off with uh, the intro chords, really. <laughs> then when the chorus hits in, there's a melody line in the guitar that kind of plays that exa exact uh, riff on top, or the melody line. It's a very good song. In the beginning, I guess I struggled with all techniques, but um, I, since I didn't really have any guitar tutor except like playing along to records, I think um, I became a more sufficient um, legato player first, and then I had to work on my picking techniques uh, a bit later. But um, uh, one particular thing that I, uh, a technique that uh, is not very useful, but that I, I struggle a lot with was uh, from um, some solos of Andy La Rock in King Diamond. And uh, I tried to get that sound and it was impossible for me to, to figure out how it, he was doing it until I got my first guitar with a floating tremble. And then I realized he was doing this. And it occurred to me uh, by accident when I was Kind of, I got this guitar and hit tremolo, and suddenly I realized, oh, that was that sound. Other songs that I I love to play, uh, growing up and uh, apart from all the all the Iron um, Maiden stuff, uh, was of course classic stuff like uh, Master of Puppets. <laughs> I know James Hetfield does that with down picking, but um, yeah, I won't attempt that here today. Um, another riff that I was very fond of and that kind of, for me, seemed much more progressive at the time was uh, from um, uh, King Diamond album Them, which is also one of my favorite albums from that era, and uh, the opening riff for uh, Welcome Home. It goes like this. When it comes to my own riffs, um, I guess. Um, have some favorites that are, are fun to play, especially live. Um, I could start off with uh, a riff from Emperor, uh, my previous band, uh, from a song called Dust Night Spirit. 
uh, in the verse. And it's really tricky to, to sing and play this uh, simultaneously. That's why I guess I, I put a lot of rehearsing into doing exactly that. The riff is like this. <laughs> More or less. One of the first riffs I guess I did that was uh, of any significance for my first band, Emperor, was probably the melody line for a song called I'm the Black Wizards. Uh, and uh, the, the origin of the riff was really my colleague Samos in Emperor who came up with, with this riff. <laughs> And um, me coming from that uh, 80s Iron Maiden background, you know, instantly I wanted to find a melody that could kind of go over those chords. But of course, this is not a very diatonic thing because it is really just an, uh, an E and, a, and an F. So I came up with this melody and it's played both fast and, and slow in the song. It goes. <laughs> And towards the end of the song, it slowed. Up. For my first solo record, I wrote a song called Invocation, and the opening riff uh, is kind of built around one of my favorite sounding chords. Uh, not that I want to try to spell it out, but it goes something like this. And um, I, I've used it several times, and, and I think some people may have heard it in the song from, from Emperor. In the um, in there, and um, I used it in a kind of different way for the invocation that goes like this. As for my some of my solo stuff that I like playing live, um, uh, it's kind of an 80s riff. Um, I always admired those who could write kind of single riffs that uh, was instantly recognizable and didn't have uh, kind of a uh, of a, the need for harmony or a second guitar to to make sense. And uh, uh, one of the few riffs that I, I think were successful in that respect, and that is really cool to play live, is from a song called uh, Until I Too Dissolve. <laughs> For my third solo album, after, uh, I uh, got to myself an 8-string guitar uh, and uh, that definitely inspired a new range of riffing for me and I guess uh, one of my favorites to play to this day is from a song called Frozen Lakes on Mars. And it's like kind of a very 8-stringy typical riff, I guess. <laughs> One of my latest releases is uh, uh, more of a black metal oriented EP that is called Telemark and uh, the opening track is called Stridi and um, uh, 
it's a very simple riff but I think uh, the dissonance and the way it's, it's arranged to be both kind of the, the hook and the, the verse is, uh, is kind of nice. Um, the, the main guitar is uh, playing the same thing um, all, all through. <laughs> But for um, the, the intro part where the, there are no vocals, uh, the second guitar is playing first in a high register and then kind of dubs everything in a kind of a lower register for, for the vocal parts and kind of uh, yeah, orchestrating it like that. It's quite simple. But, uh <laughs> 